celebrity. Well, they are open, nine o'clock. There we go. Very cool. I have to wait till next week for payday. It's like nine ninety five, ten, basically ten dollars just for like the first. The original still looks good. I think uh, Lucky Boys is probably a little more. Early in the morning with these goofballs. <laughs> Sometimes it's... <clears throat> They're funnier sounding than those uh, group of kids a couple of weeks ago. They're funny. They're entertaining. Like, yeah, it's just a little too girthy yeah. for me. <laughs> Where am I gonna put that at? Oh, very phallic. I'm scare my sister. Very phallic. Really? Ooh. <laughs> She's like, Diddy. <laughs> 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 oh. What's up? I thought the walls were like, or the glass was going dark. It's literally just like. I want to know if it's if it's waterproof. I'm thinking. Waterproof. Fill it up with water. Put a couple of tiny little betas in there. I'll have it swim around? That's yeah, that'd be cool. And then be the offspring of the little that'd be cool. hugger. I might have to get one today. I'm um, telling you. What the, get the beta fish before this. Death of the minions. Da 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 da. And we're done. Ugh. Increase security measures and hope for the best. Well, get this. Possibly as many as 10 businesses here in San Fernando alone were hit within a couple of days last week. I covered that story. And thieves struck another business yet again early this morning, this health food restaurant. <phone rings> Caught on camera, another business break-in, another victim in Southern California. A blaring alarm doesn't seem to phase three hooded, masked intruders as they smash their way into the floor of Lima Farms Juicery and Health Food Cafe in San Fernando around 1.30 Four, four more years of, under Democrats? The thieves grab a this while a getaway driver will just outside. explode even more. Fuck, we won't be safe in our own homes. We already aren't. Targeted the health food restaurant within a week. The first time they shattered a glass door. The second they vandalized the front patio. The third time they were able to make entry. And now the manager explains the business has suffered about $7,000 in damages and losses. However, lifelong San Fernando resident and Flor de Lima manager Alicia Acevedo tells us the entire community is being violated with no end in sight. We're, you know, just a regular family small business trying to create a safe comfortable healthy environment for our whole family but unfortunately it's almost becoming impossible for us you know people are getting scared to be out i live around the area and it, you, you cannot walk outside anymore the way we used to we used to be able to walk the block like nothing you will not do that anymore <laughs>
Oh, son of a fiddle. Date flowers. And the planter. I'm not sure if they're gonna redo this deck or they're taking it out. I took out this side a couple of days ago. Champorrado. Uh, it is Sunday, August eleventh, twenty twenty four. It's uh, 8.52. Oh shit, it's 8.52. I did, I did take my time. I didn't hurry out so quickly this morning. Oh, it's like 76 degrees. It's not so bad, but it's nice. It's definitely going to be quite a warm day. We don't go in until uh, this afternoon and get out until like 10, 10.30 I think. If not earlier, depending on how slow it is. Uh, yesterday they were asking I think I was the, the first one Charlie you need your hours right I'm like yeah I do when they ask that question or when they ask you to come and see the first special project or secondary uh, hey would you like to go home early it's kind of slow would you like to go home early so <clears throat> But if so, we'll see. We'll see who goes first. <laughs> it is crazy here in California. Gavin Newsom doing the orders to dismantle homeless encampments and such. Uh, ordering it, actually. Ordering it in, uh, in this democracy um, so much for his 10-year plan uh, something to the tune of 30 plus billion dollars in California alone uh, altogether since his uh, grand inauguration in uh, 2019 I believe uh, yeah it's 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 not going well and now um, I think we got Kamala Harris coming to California today. Frisco, actually. I wonder what the reception is going to be there. Locally, I'm sure maybe those that are the zombie nature. Oh, you know, do or die. That This goes for any, any faction or political party on any side in any direction uh, of the political parties. There's always those ones that that is the abusive person syndrome. It's not them, it's me. I just gotta I just gotta try harder, I just gotta pray harder, I just gotta be better, I gotta I gotta do my best and and encourage other people. Uh, the Democrat, the diehard Democrat that that no matter what that politician can do no wrong and you can see no wrong. <clears throat> I see a lot of faults in Trump. He's not a perfect man by any means, um, but still overall the best. And also, I think, because honestly, I don't think that there really would be anyone else other than Trump standalone. No, this, this, 
2024 would have would would definitely be handed over easily 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 they would have probably put a bait and switch type of thing at the last minute like they did now uh, remove the old man insert the uh, black female Jamaican Indian uh, she's not black and, and no I don't think Jamaica had slaves Barbados I don't think Jamaica had any slave trade I could be wrong please feel check and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong but either way any more than just when what Democrats do it, do it a lot more when it suits their convenience. All the promises, all the falsehoods, all the lying, and all this, and we're back to where we are again. Now they're fighting the homeless. Green is more powerful than the last. And my dear, when I am done with you and reunite our love, just a little busy on a Sunday evening. Popcorn's always hot and fresh. So it is always cold. Get your snacks now. Ah, it's like 78 degrees. Is that a... Ooh, that is a rocket vapor. Can you guys see... See that? Those are um, rocket vapors. I didn't realize we had a launch. Probably Vandenberg. an accident here.
It is Monday, August 12th, 2024. It's like 1041 in the morning, 81 degrees, and we are in Hollywood. We are uh, off for the next three days. What are they putting over here? Let me in your algorithm, please. Yeah, I don't think so. What the heck are they going to put here? Reading this, my name is Ray Janice. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'll algorithm out, please. Speed demon. <laughs> That's this coming Sunday. Depends on whether or not I'm working. I would like to attend this. I'm uh, still up in the air whether or not I'm gonna get the legs to bring my bike, but we'll see. Ooh, there's some new artwork. Sirens free of charge. Holy crap, they took the whole, the whole thing down. Wow. I thought for sure, honestly. Wow. I don't know why I thought they were gonna have the some of the headers or at least some of the front structure, but I guess total demo. Oh, what the f that is a deep ass lot. Well. See what they bring. Dang. Oh shit. <clears throat> I think I just I a notification that there's a medical emergency with the president, Joe Biden. I think it's in Washington. Oh shh. Okay, I gotta. Look at this guy. He almost got hit. Oh, like. This guy almost boned it. It is quite lively down here. Not sure exactly how warm it is. I would guess it's, I don't know, 90? Yeah, there's a lot more people. And a lot more, I don't know, um, attractions, I guess, is the best thing to describe all of, all of this that's on the... <clears throat> I mean, I don't... Attractions, vendors. As far as I know, I mean, growing up, it was just like you know, the uh, people in the costumes. That was about it. I think the fencing. Oh no, I guess not. A, I kind of thought it was for all kids pretend. And as I look up ahead, there's something being dismantled. Worse. Oh, you know, I think I remember seeing this on on the news. Oh, I want that. That is groovy. Oh, it's going to be. Oh. 
It's going to be. I thought it was something that already happened. Oh, well, look, we are walking on protected red carpet. Don't you feel special? <laughs> you fuck no, Charlie. Whoa. It's a very exclusive restaurant. It is a very large, beautiful piece of property. Uh, it is a, I believe, a Japanese style restaurant. You can almost see some of the redding. But that whole thing, it's huge. It is up for sale. I can't remember what the asking price is for anyone that is... Uh, well, a little interested in buying a, you know, for starter. No, no, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's beautiful. And then just the best thing is like right underneath. So right underneath, you have a beautiful view of everything. I would say uh, San Fernando Valley, everything all over on the valley side. And then looking over towards this way towards the south you have Los Angeles Basin and everything else and then just underneath you have the Magic Castle as one of your uh, neighbors down below but it's beautiful you can see some of the it looks like a, the, there's pagoda spires or whatever they're called beautiful la la land And then you have all this to look forward to. Get out of the street! Oh, nice outfits, guys. A lot of Europeans over here. Swedes and Germans. The hasta heat, the bird, the cheese, and the blooper, the gong, the bling, the fling, the flur, and now I got to talk like the chef. So that's what the barricades are for. Presumptively. Orale. Now in here they have, uh, I think, some of the sets. I know that for Dead Wolf, or for Wolverine and Deadpool, they had some of the uh, costumes and everything else, I think. But I'm not sure, $20. I wonder what's included. Ooh, smell of those waffle cones. Dude, banana split. Well, right next to the escape house, a theater was revised. It seems like this whole area is actually, they're trying to revise it, or I don't know who, but. Little by little by little. I don't know if this thing is still working. This used to be kind of like a, a bar, restaurant type of thing. Like a lot of us. <clears throat> and I have this quite, happen to me quite often at work. I, I, I listen to them, my friends and stuff. And then yesterday, one of my friends, when I was clocking in, was kind of having like a, a moment. And I didn't know until later. Um, and it's like, okay, I, I guess I understand why you kind of had that look and were acting a little despondent. And then later on, like, 
Oh, when I think it was when I was getting ready to uh, leave and uh, change out. And then I caught a ride with a friend up on the elevator and he had a bit of a, a breakdown. <clears throat> I can, it's like I can feel their pain and stuff like that and it sucks. I, I wish I could do something for my friends. But more so than experiencing it, just kind of like I can sense their, their pain, you know. At least I've had the pleasure of cherishing that moment that they decided to share with me, you know. And I gotta say, it was a male, so when a male kind of has a moment like that, and it's just, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's like, yeah, you know, I, yeah. It's, it sucks, but we're all doing it, right? Yeah, that, um, that guy's like in just mental anguish. That sucks. Chris was a big thing back in his day. We had Cresses all over. I think they're from the East Coast, I wanna say. I'm not sure exactly, okay? with uh, their version of uh, Reefer Madness. <laughs> That's very apropos. I mean, seriously, right? Right in the middle of, uh, well, candy shop, kind of. No, it's a candy shop. Traffic, so, traffic is so heavy that even the delivery people can't get through. It is beautiful today. a jelly donut actually but then as I was looking up there's like a whole I don't know what's going on there's some canopies canopies I wonder what's up over there true true Celebrity. <laughs> Is that an earthquake? Or the train? Holy shit. <laughs> gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Has everybody had their eggs? Oh, I guess it's... Oh, hey. I guess it's happening. Oh, dude. It's a moment of ecstasy. Hey, no, 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 no photos. No photos. Look at me. That 
That would be paparazzi. Ooh, shit. Damn. Yeah, these these guys get aggressive. Whoa, hey. Oh, oh shit. Did everyone come at the same time now? I hope they did. All right. Yeah, it's like that. Ooh. Anybody need a baby wipe now? Yeah. No, oh, well, there's some toilet tissue. Jesus Christ, these people make up. It is just funny as shit. Dang. That was some good drama. I wonder if I could sell that. <laughs> Uh, let the delivery person through, please. And just like that, it clears out. Look at this. Let's walk through, and, or if we can. Yeah, oh my God, it was so fabulous. Oh yeah, I got. Oh, did you get one? Yeah, I got one. You go get it. Well, it, you can't get through, but look. That's funny. There's a lot of people pushing on top of you. What would you expect? An orderly display? I mean, really, when it comes to celebrities, people have a different mindset. Very obsessive. It's quite frightening, actually. I think we've seen them all on news and shows and portrayed on movies and TV shows and stuff like that but <clears throat> when you see them these like the paparazzis wow dude that's um hardcore I know something is going out you got Donald and Donald with a magic wand talking about put your hands up if you don't I cheat I fed two people they commit crime talk they talk too much make people hate you the people stop both of them from talking. And I got the power after they did. I told them I got the power that I can stop them from talking the same way. I sure, I sure, you tell me you can talk. You're talking about barriers. I didn't let you on this land. I didn't ask you where you come from or where you're going. Where are you trying to get to? I don't care. We just said I'm talking, I'm talking to the barbarians. Hold on. It unhinged them or un. Damn. That was a good one. Oh shit, look up there. Damn. They said everything was shaking around here. It is like 91 degrees right now, and what time is it? It is 318. Holy cow. Not really too bad though. There's a bit of a slight breeze. So over the weekend, someone from the next door app posted a picture of the Centennial Building over here to the 
<clears throat> up a ways to the left, the homeless uh, apartment building. <coughs> Excuse me, that there was yellow tape around it and several squad cars blocking off the uh, the street and uh, preventing any access of getting through. And it was revealed, I guess, yesterday that there was a man around 40-ish, I believe, uh, dead in front of the Centennial Building. And then they came to say that uh, he was a resident. So <coughs> at first, it was kind of viewed as a suspicious death. So for a brief while, it was there as a homicide. Henceforth, all the tape around it. And uh, later, it was ruled uh, that it was a suicide. So terrible. Notice we got a couple of news vans over here. I would say the white one probably be NBC. NBC has a lot that were, are unmarked. But they hire a lot of these reporters, ABCs, uh, here exclusively. In fact, there's a cameraman probably trying to get B footage or something. Whew, it's muy, muy caliente right now. Well, duck down the cool path. The otter fountain. Take a cool path. Comments, good or bad, please post. If not, email. Ooh, it's hot. Good night. I'll post as soon as I can. Well, uh, home, and I don't uh, see anything knocked over except for the only thing is somehow this door, this drawer, slid open. It is kind of easy, but that's it. No other damage. That was a good quake, though. Well, uh, and. They got me a ice cream cone from Rite Aid.